reparations as a concept could work. In all honesty, it could. But the way that reparations are being used nowadays is just plain wrong. You can't blame someone for the sins of their ancestors. And even then, what are you innocent of? Like, you could be guilty of so much if you really want to go down that route. Because you say these people should be punished for the sins of their race because their race committed atrocities back in the past. So you believe that the people now should suffer the consequences of the actions of, well, like I said, their ancestors. And in all honesty, their ancestors already paid that price. They lost. Reality has changed because they lost. Had they won, reality would have been molded to their view. And you all know it to be true. I honestly believe that these current reparations stem from guilt. Well, no, not guilt, sorry. They don't stem from guilt, they're using guilt. What they stem from is greed. Basically, they use the premise of, oh, I'm so offended, oh, I'm such a victim, all just so that they can get a little bit more money, you know? Because the reparations of now is basically just a way of, well, giving out free handouts, really. You get a guilty party or a quote-unquote guilty party, because it's not, they're not guilty of shit. The guilt is an emotional guilt. So basically, you prey on the guilt of these people, and after you prey on their guilt, which is unfounded guilt, mind you, like, all this guilt that they're feeling is guilt that they were made to perceive, if that makes sense to you. They wouldn't be perceiving this guilt if they weren't tricked into perceiving this guilt. Because look, just a simple flip of a switch, you got people of the same race saying that it's complete bollocks, you know? And it is. It's completely wrong and backwards. They're saying that their end goal with these reparation acts isn't for the money. Like, the money isn't the end goal, guys. What their end goal is that they just want to Take everything out. Like, just take everything out that would remind people of history. You know, erase history so that people can't learn from it, you know? Because what better way to learn from history than to uh, erase it, you know? I don't really get how that makes any sense. They say that the reason why they want to erase history is so that people don't repeat it. Yet, erasing history is what would cause people to forget it. And if people forget these actions that have been committed in the past, they're bound to repeat them. Like, how could they not see that? It's so plain and obvious. They bring up Germany as their main example. And sure, Germany could be guilty as much as they want. I don't blame any German citizen alive now for what happened in World War II. In all honesty, they don't deserve that blame. They should be trying to strive to be the best that they could be without having to worry about the past, you know, because you can't change the past. But you can work towards making a brighter future. And you can work towards making a brighter future by working in the moment, because the moment leads to the future. (sighs) It's just so dumb, you know? I just don't understand how people could honestly think that this is a good idea. I mean, sure, if you're greedy, then yeah, it's a terrific idea. You can get easy money just for being a certain race, you know? I get that. But I don't get how they think that... I don't get how they assume that erasing history is the way to go. Because in all honesty, I... I could see them starting to tamper with history books. And don't get me wrong, I know that the victors write history, like whoever wins the wars writes the history books, so obviously things are going to be skewed anyways, but if they're allowed to tamper with current history, then in all honesty, why should we even give a damn about the past? Because if they tamper with history, then that just shows to everyone alive now that history is tamperable. 
And one of two things can happen. They can either reject the coming history and stick to whatever they've known or whatever they've been taught. And then they would just pass down history through word of mouth until eventually that dies out or something big happens, you know? But the other possibility is that they can start assuming that all of history has been tampered with. Like, it's a possibility that all of history has been tampered with, just like they would tamper it if they end up tampering history. <laughs> if they end up succeeding in tampering history, I should say. And if people end up questioning history, I honestly can't say for sure what would end up happening to society. Because many things could happen. It could go to chaos. Everyone could just be mad that everything's a lie. Everyone could start going crazy. I don't know. But I have, like, hope. I honestly think that if that were to happen, people would just say, hey, fuck it. Fuck the past. We can work towards a better future. And people would start realizing that the past can't be changed. The future cannot be accurately predicted 100% of the time, so the moment is all that we have. And I believe that if people start working towards being the best that they could be within the moment, that all this nonsense would just blow over because they would realize that races don't matter, money doesn't matter, Pretty much everything that we've been led to believe matters, like, everything that we've been led to believe to matter no longer matters, because it's all just a mindset, really. It's hard to explain, because we've all been programmed by society to be a certain way. Whether or not you see it, it's true, because even subconscious things can get to you, like your friends... You may not believe that those you hang out with affect you. I honestly didn't believe it myself. But as I've gotten older, I've realized that even those you surround yourself with honestly influence the way that you act. And then, even then, it's a flip of a coin because you could either start behaving the way that they behave because you like the people and so you vibe with them and then so you slowly become them. And I don't mean that you literally become them, I just mean that your mannerisms and your personality slowly molds itself to become like them. But on the other hand, if you don't like the people that you're around, like say at work or at school, you'll work towards not being like them. So say you find everybody annoying, like all the fads and crap like that, you find it annoying. You'll start going against that and you'll start rebelling against it. And either way, you're being influenced. It's just that one form of influence is more obvious than the other form of influence. And honestly, I would hope that that would lead to people realizing that these races that we label and identify ourselves with are just that. They're just labels. They don't mean jack shit. Races are more like ethnicities, because ethnicities do exist, but races... We're honestly all just the human race. Like, let's be real here. We are the human race. We are all on the same team. Ethnicities are labels, and ethnicities may exist, but they do not define us. We can allow them to define us if we choose to be tribalistic like that, but in all honesty, our bodies are just vehicles to experience reality. Our circumstances do not define us. Our consciousness is our essence. Our consciousness cannot be physically touched by reality or by anybody. You cannot physically see it. So, honestly, I just say, fuck it, man. Who gives a damn? Physical reality is important because we are here to experience it for a reason. But then again, that reason is just to express ourselves and to just be ourselves, you know? All right, nothing to it. Just fucking be the best you that you can be. You don't have to worry about anybody else. The way that you act will end up spreading to them. It's like an infection. It's contagious. Because if you start bettering yourself, the people around you are bound to start bettering themselves as well. 
And same thing goes for the other way around. Ooh, that came out real bad. Same thing goes for the other way. If you start, like, reacting negatively and start behaving negatively, well, those around you are bound to start absorbing that negativity, and, well, they'll express negativity as well. So, we just gotta... We just gotta freaking work on ourselves, dude. We cannot change anybody else. We can only change ourselves. So this whole reparations shtick, it's just... If if the people who are giving their money away truly feel guilty, then in all honesty, they should just work on not being racist people in real life, you know? Because if they feel guilty about it now, honestly, they're probably racist to begin with. And they're just being, they are using their ancestors as an excuse to justify their racism now. And then they believe that reparations will help them not be racist somehow. I don't know what's going through these people's heads. I'm just spitballing here. But, well, thank you for your time with this video. And uh, I hope you guys have a good one. Just... Be the best you can be and remember to stay safe out there.